Hello Python stars, welcome to Python Star Geek channel. So today we are going to see problem set 2's scope machine. So in this uh, we have uh, implemented a file called as scope.py. In that uh, we are going to ask the user to insert a coin one at a time. Each time informing the user the amount due. Uh, once the user has inputted at least 50 cents output how many cents in the change is uh, in the user own. Uh, assume that the user will input only integers and ignore all the other um, that is in, in that denomination. Okay, so the denominations are 25 cent, 10 cent, and 5 cent, and we are going to accept till 50 cents. So this is our code, and yeah. So uh, whenever we are having a loop, what is the main thing is we need to know the difference between for loop and while loop. When we are going to use for loop and when we are going to use while loop. So uh, for loop is used only when we know how many times we are going to loop the program. While loop is used only when we don't know how many times we are going to uh, run the program. In this case, we don't know how many times we are going to run this program because um, everyone can write any amount of due, correct? So we are going to use the while loop here. Now. I have already created uh, the coke.py for us. Now, uh, as I said, we are going to use the while loop and we don't know when to uh, complete our program, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write as while true because I can use the break statement whenever I feel the program is complete. And uh, we are going to um, do this till we have 50 cents, correct? So total is equal to 50 I am writing. Now uh, I am going to ask the user how many cents they are going to get. Okay. So coin is equal to insert coin. I can ask input. Now I am getting the number of coins to be inputted by the user. Now what I will do? Uh, I will check if the coin is in the actual denomination. So what is my denomination if coin equal to equal to 25 or coin equal to equal to 10 or coin equal to equal to 5. So these three are the only denomination which we are going to accept. So if this is in this three denomination, I am going to subtract my total. So total is equal to total minus coin. After subtracting, I need to check whether this 50 has become 0 or not. Okay. For that, what am I going to do here is uh, I am checking if I have subtracted, right? Every time after subtracting, I am going to check if total is less than or e less than 0 okay so if the total is less than 0 or equal to 0 also equal to 0 also is null correct equal to 0 what am I going to print I am going to print change O and then uh, I can write my uh, total okay but here the total will be of negative numbers so we can use the abs which is absolute which will uh, actually convert it into positive number okay so this is my program and i also need to say every time how many amount is due correct here if you can see in the demo the first line is itself amount due after amount due only we are asking them to insert a coin so i can uh, write the amount due even before the input statement print amount due and I am going to print my amount due which is nothing but the total here okay yeah and after I run this change that is a uh, change out what will happen is we should uh, end the program because there is no amount due so I will write break 
and break will end the loop for us okay the consequent loop which is available i think the program is complete and it is clearly understood why are we using while loop instead of for loop here let us run and check the program with the help of check if there are any red frowns you can see what is happening So they have not said what we should do if a user has written any other insert coins like uh, any other coins which is inserted. We are just going to repeat the loop and ask them again to insert the coin. That is why we are just checking it and we are not breaking it if they are not inserting the coin again. Okay. Okay. Let us wait for the results. Uh oh. Okay, it is a small mistake. We need to convert our uh, string into integer, correct? I just forgot. Input by default is in which variable it is going to be in string. Okay, I have just converted into integer now. Now I will check again. So don't forget the input function always returns string and not an integer. So it is always uh, okay if we are doing any mistakes but we need to find what is the mistake and rectify it okay causing error is not a fault okay so what have they said accepts 25 cent did not find amount due 25 in amount due 25 so let us check what is the actual problem with the help of Okay, let me check if uh, okay. Okay. It is just use case like a capital letter and small letter problem I guess. Here what they have said is amount due is should be in this particular case. Okay. So these are all small small mistakes which we do whenever we are uh, writing the code with the help of the problem set which should be avoided. Okay. And change out also in the same way. These are print statements correct so they will check the actual print statement available so that it will be easy for our problem set to work. Yeah let us check what happens now. okay now everything is in green i i think we can just submit the program now and see you in the next video bye bye